That was so weak. That's all right. I'm here at the Reptile Show at Tinley Park. And on the plane on the way here, I was thinking, what kind of video am I going to film? I've done so many videos at Reptile Shows. What am I going to do this time? And the first thing that popped into my head, Laura said, you are going to do a video featuring some of the awesome and strong women in this hobby. And for that reason, I've picked Dave Kaufman. I am, in my heart, an awesome and strong woman with facial hair to prove it. <laughs> so I, just wanted, I just wanted Dave to jump into my intro with me because, <laughs> just because Dave's awesome and he just did an awesome trip. And every time I have Dave with me in a video, I feel better about myself. So thanks. I love being in your videos. Now, you're going to go around. You're going to interview some of the most amazing women in this entire industry. Yes. And ask them what inspires them. And are you going to ask me what inspires me? No, but yes. For the first part, no for the second part. I, yes, I'm going to ask them. No, I'm not going to ask you. No, you're going to, because... But you can tell me anyway, even if I don't ask it. Well, I, was just I can always say, cut it out later. You inspire me, Brian. Oh, thanks, Dave. You inspire me. Thanks, Dave. Because yeah. as I watch your videos, and I get inspired, so I see things that you do, and then I do the opposite. So you inspire me to be a better YouTuber, and video creator, and content creator. And on that note, I don't think that I've actually, you know, there's there's so many women and girls and females that I, I could put in this video and by just by the nature of like having only a certain amount of time and everybody's not always here, uh, I'm not going to get everybody. So if I've left you out, please don't feel bad if you're not a woman in this video. It's just my shortcoming, not yours. So this, this is a really, really good idea for a video because I, and all joking aside, I don't think that women really get the recognition in the reptile world that they so deserve. There are really some amazing women doing things in this world like Megan at Megaconda and I mean, I, the list could go on and on and on. Very good theme for a video. Love it. Thanks, Dave. Yeah. All right. Well, let's go. Enough with us dudes. Let's go see the girls. As I mentioned, when I was on my way here and thinking about it, I wanted to do a video kind of featuring girls, women that I thought were a strong leader, like successful. Like, you were one of the people that came to my mind Thank immediately. You. <laughs> so I'm wondering if you can explain why you think that even happened. I have no idea why you picked me, <laughs> to be honest. I have been in the industry quite a while, so um, possibly that. Yeah, that. But, but I mean, you, so you were triple L for a bit. Not, yeah. Now you're Josh's Frogs. But, I mean, you, you have a strong, like, other girls, people seem to, like, gravitate towards you, and you just have a strong <laughs> presence. So where does that come from? I'm maybe? just bubbly. And bubbly? That's why. <laughs> um, I started off in the industry in, like, 2005 um, with Heaven Stall, actually, and then went to Triple L for a while and then ended up at Josh's Frogs. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. I think um, it's kind of more than just, like, a career for me. It's, you know, my whole life, this industry is all I really know. So <laughs> I just try to get to know everybody and keep the peace with everyone I possibly can. That's not an easy thing to do. No, right? it's not. Not in this industry at all. But. No. Um, and then you just saying, I, I saw a post the other day too. It was just like kind of somebody was praising you for like your organizational skills and just like keeping things going and like kind of being the powerhouse behind making that happen. You know? Yeah. 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 Um, at Josh's right now, um, I am like the reptile curator. Um, I do go back and forth with a little bit of wholesale, um, which is kind of what I want to go more into because uh, then I can deal with all my friends a lot more. <laughs> uh, but since I know everybody, a lot of people actually, um, it does make it easier for us to have somebody like that um, to be able to kind of have all those connections. Yeah. Well, how, what advice would you give to like, say there's a, a young, young girl watching this who's just like maybe getting her first press of gecko or something and like wants to be, get in a spot where this is her life that she's working and like making a living doing it and enjoying it like what what would you say to um like that? i would say avoid drama at all costs as much as you can um yeah, and just work hard i mean as long as you keep the peace with everybody and you get connections people support each other a lot when you actually you know are kind to people in the industry so ryan yeah i'm doing a video today featuring some of the strongest and most influential and successful um, women in the industry. Yeah. And so Erica obviously came to mind. I know yeah. she's not here. So she's what I'm not. hoping you can do is like stand in for her as best you can, which I know is going to be a very oh, hard ask. That's a ask. big ask, it's a man. Big ask. It's a big. <laughs> I'm not ask. nearly as pretty either. No, <laughs> no, no, I'm not. I, no, I, I, you can say it. I get it. But you, there's okay. I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> I, now you I'm, can say I'm pretty. It's okay. I'm not even sure. But but, but you did. You, you do have this thing that you've been working on for a long yeah. time, and 
And uh, I, I still wanted to feature that, even though it's a video about strong women in the hobby and you're obviously not one. Yeah. I, well, I mean, you don't know how I identify. I guess I'm getting canceled. <laughs> <laughs> so just give us like, know, 30 seconds and, or maybe even just talk about Erica while we look at the gecko. Yeah, so well, so Erica is one of the most incredible women in the industry. She uh, was an exotic veterinary technician for nearly 15 years. She worked at Brookfield Zoo. Um, she's even published a chapter in an exotic medicine book about uh, emergency exotic veterinary medicine. Um, she was on the board for the Association of Reptile and Amphibian Veterinarians for a very long time. Um, and she's kind of the mind behind what keeps me keeping uh, working towards keeping all these animals healthy and she makes sure all of our animals are healthy she works through the nutrition a lot and uh, uh, making sure that they're getting varied diets it's it, she's just she's incredible and she has a wealth of knowledge and you'll never know unless you ask her a question 100 percent perfect nailed it good good job thank you yeah, no i mean you're, you're a professional That's just what <laughs> i've done it a few times <laughs> i talk about her once in a while she's all right <laughs> Catalia. Yes. Oh my gosh. Hello. So oh, this you're. Oh, a cool camera. Oh, thanks. Oh yes. Oh, my hair looks crazy. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> so right now I'm recognizing you as one of the most awesome, uh, well, people to be fair, um, wow. but but this video Thank is you. particularly about uh, awesome girls, women, females in the hobby and that oh, are okay. strong and successful and. You were oh. one of the people I thought of. Thank um, you so much. That means a lot. So what, what, what do you think? Why do you think I thought of that? Like, what, what is it about you that, and I don't want to make you talk about yourself, but I, I already told you you think you're awesome. <laughs> like, like, Thank you. What do you think it is about you? Like, what, what, um, what makes you strong and successful in this hobby? I'd say something that I've learned, especially in my 20s um, and with my content creation in general, is being, it sounds cheesy and it sounds very basic, but it's so true. Being myself, okay? I had so much anxiety to get over. I'm still, I'm always gonna have anxiety. I know that, because it's just kind of, you know, everybody has anxiety, but I've always had really bad anxiety. But doing this, like, just over and over, doing what I love and not caring what people think as much, I guess. Mm. Gonna care to some extent, but, sure. you know, like, just being myself is super important. And I think that's uh, what I see a lot of strong, beautiful, women in this hobby doing is just being themselves and you know yeah showing everybody how awesome they are in the process absolutely so. and i gotta say like the fact that you really started singing a lot in a lot oh, of your i that's I part love of that. it too the singing i've always been so anxious to sing in front of people but i love to sing i and sing all the time great by myself. voice too thank you <laughs> so yeah i'm working on that still though i gotta get over some fears when it comes to the singing stuff but it's a work in progress Awesome. Well, you are awesome. Continue to be awesome. Thank you. Inspiring me to like just stay in this hobby with awesome people. So, oh, thank, thank you, you so much, Brian. You're awesome too. So, I'm doing a video. Maybe you can tell me this is a good idea or a bad idea. But okay. I, I wanted to focus on the awesome and strong females in the hobby and industry. Yeah, that 100%. Was, yeah, yeah that, I love that's, that. that's what I want to do in this video. Okay. And you were obviously one of the first people who came to mind. Thank you. Yeah, so, I mean, how, how do you, you got, I mean, you're running around, you got Lars over here, like, tearing up shop, and you're, <laughs> I know you got people like me interrupting you while you're trying to set <laughs> <Yeah>. up. <laughs> but you do it, I've watched you do it with a lot, all the challenges that have been thrown your way, which are many. I've, I've watched you do it with a lot of grace and a lot of, a lot of strength. I mean, can Thank you, you, can you tell me, like, a little bit about how you have be, stayed successful and are still successful even in this economy and all the challenges yeah. that have been thrown your way? Yeah, um, I would say a lot of that has to do with my team. Um, just having people here with me that are willing to step in and help me out. Um, I, I feel like I'm on autopilot a lot of times and at the end of the day I just get home and I'm like, poof, what a rough day. And then people reaching out to me and telling me I'm doing strong, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. Sometimes I don't feel that. and. I have to actually just kind of step back and look and be grateful for where I am today. But um, I just, I don't know, I guess it's just a drive I have. I just keep going and no matter what happens, um, literally just got struck by lightning and blew up my well. And I drove our wait, wait, trailer wait, here. Literally, <laughs> literally got struck by lightning. Lightning, yeah. Um, it's just one thing after another. I don't know why the bad luck is, is clouding us, but 
Um, yeah, so we had to change everything we did to get to the show. I drove our trailer of rodents up here yesterday. Wait, wait, wait. We you were, were driving here late. and you got struck by light? No, it happened Thursday night. Okay. So f all day Friday was a shit SHO. I mean, <laughs> you know yes. what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Bell things out in front of Lars. He's not ready yet. But it was just chaos. But I'm really grateful that my team was there. Um, so I sent two cars out of me, and I had uh, the rest of us helping get the two other trucks on the road. So I think that's it, honestly. Like, I, I wanted to quit after Forrest passed away, and I had people there that were like, we can do this. We got you. We got your back and we just keep going. Um, I guess a lot of my strength and, and all of that is just knowing like I have a good group of people that can help me. Obviously my child is my, my number one like motivation. Um, so yeah, family, friends, help, I'm trying. <laughs> you're doing a great job. You're doing better than some people that have, uh, you're doing better than most people. <sighs> From an outside perspective, I know yeah. there's a lot of stuff, but you're like, you're, you're doing great. And Thank it's you. very inspiring and I look up to you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Is that good? Are we still rolling? I know it's great. I, I'm always rolling. I, okay. I'm the starting to realize. I'm starting to realize that this was really stupid. Like I don't. Did you see me over here? Like I'm like you're really strong, and I'm like oh. <laughs> it's so heavy. I don't know what I, why I'm doing this to myself. Why am I doing this to myself? I need a. I need to. Like why? Wow, look at the size of the battery. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. god, you can barely hold Even it. Even the tripod can't hold it. This is <laughs> stupid. I should not be holding this with one hand. That is just. Oh my gosh. As I mentioned before, talk, I was doing a video on like featuring the strongest women in the hobby that I know. And, and I say women, and it's going to be women, but it's really just people. Um, but you have always been one of the stronger people I've recognized. In fact, to be completely honest, like. <laughs> When I first met you, and for a good while after I first met you, and hanging out with Brian and stuff, I was like, "Well, I'm just kind of like Brian's nerd friend, and I'm coming around." And you were pretty intimidating to me, to be honest. Like I was fairly intimidated because you, you, no nonsense, kind of, yeah, and uh, not not scared of being yourself. And I was like, "If she if she likes me, that'll be cool, but I don't really don't want to force it because she'll see right through that." <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're not alone in that. Like I think that's most people, and that is that is just how I am and who I am. Um, but. But yeah, you made it through, so I'm proud of you. <laughs> you broke through to the front zone, so good job. <laughs> As much as I want to ask you about you, well, how, how did I do that? <laughs> uh, I can't tell you. Yeah, honestly, I think, honestly, just like you just said, it's really about being genuine. Like, you know, being a genuine person, being yourself, you know, nothing nothing shows through more than someone who's faking or this or that. And, and, and I, for one, like, I definitely read people pretty well. And so that can also be intimidating. Like, that was the thing, Brian. He liked everybody no matter what, you know, whether whether you should have or not. <laughs> and me, I'm, I'm the opposite, kind of like, okay, let's just size you up, see how it goes, and are you, you know, worth being friendly to or not, even if that maybe isn't the nicest thing. <laughs> At least it's honest, it, it is, you know, so, so yeah, it's all about, honestly, just being genuine and, and stuff like that, and that's, that's what can help make it through <laughs> to the front zone. <laughs> nice. Where, where do you get your work ethic from because like I, I know from knowing you and knowing Brian and how he knows, knew you and knows you like you're a, you're a powerhouse of like energy and just like strength <laughs> like physical strength and mental strength and from, from an outside perspective it just seems like you just you can just go and you do go like I, every time I came to visit out there you weren't like off somewhere <laughs> doing whatever you were working you were like in the trenches every time I went out yeah and, getting and it done you, nobody's looking there's no cameras on you you're just working yeah, you know, I don't know. Like, I think it's just ingrained in who I am, but I think growing up, you know, having a single mom, you know, seeing that, and that's obviously, you know, ingrained in me is seeing a really strong, hardworking single mom. And then also, even I do have, um, a family business. So my grandpa owned like a bird seed company and stuff. So I would go there almost every weekend and see how a business works and do that. And I don't know. I think it's just the upbringing, you know, because honestly, my kids are both the same, you know, that, you know, that's how we were, you know, you just, you work hard, you do stuff and, and that's, you get what you work for, you know, nothing's handed to you. And if you want something, you work hard and that's how you get it. Um, and 
same thing. You know, these my kids grew up washing tubs, <laughs> feeding snakes, <laughs> doing that whether they wanted to or not, and not even to get paid. Like that's just what you do. And so they've also now as adults, I'm proud of their work ethic. So I think that's kind of part of it too. Like a little bit maybe you're born with, but I think it's emulated. And you know, I think that's huge. I, I think a lot of society probably needs more of that nowadays, but at least I feel I do my part. I raised my kids, now I'll raise my grandkids like that too. Because it, it means a lot, you know, and it says a lot about you as a person, you know, if you are a hardworking person, so. Yeah. Well, and for like girls that are just getting started in the hobby, maybe young girls in like middle school getting their first gecko or something, or anybody, any girl that's coming into the hobby that's mm -hmm. looking to maybe get to a spot as a professional in sure. this industry, like, and what would you recommend? As, I guess a big question. Sure. You know, I recommend. <clears throat> I recommend definitely. You know, choosing something that you like. You know, don't look. Don't try to get into anything just for the money. You know, get into something because you enjoy it. So choose what you like, because then you're gonna have the passion, you're gonna have the desire and the enjoyment out of it, because that makes a big deal. And I think, you know what, you just put your all in. Don't, don't let anybody talk down to you because of who you are or what sex you are or how you look or anything like that. Honestly, you need to just be proud of the person you are Put, out, put that out there and demand the respect that you deserve. Um, and I think when you do all of that and work hard, that's your recipe for success. Do it, do it. <laughs> you are too, Nikki, if you will. I, I wanted to do Just a video pull. with you if that's okay. You know what's amazing right now? Literally, li no, sir, I don't know why this happened, so I wanted to do a video with well, when I was on the plane on the way here, I was like, I want to do a video with girls that I think are like really strong leaders in the hobby. We're all right and here. And the four of you were the first people to pop into my head. <laughs> that is awesome. We're all right here. Go show all the, these all people right here. All four do of them Do a pan. Here. It literally, literally, as I went through, it was like wow. the, you four. Wow. And you're all standing here right now. It's so wow. cool. I know you've okay. got these awesome albino anacondas here. I do. That um, are awesome. But <laughs> what? more awesome than these snakes are, are you. Thank you. Yeah, and you're just like a strong force in this industry and hobby. And it's really cool to see. I mean, you're, you're confident, right? Is, are, you yeah. confident as, are you as confident as you seem to be? I'm a little shy, but I don't take compliments well, so I'm a little awkward right now. All right. But yeah, I mean, sure, let's go with that. Yeah, well, what, I mean, what do you think? To what do you attribute your success in this hobby? Like, you've made a good presence, you do awesome things with snakes, I mean. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I started, like, I just got into anacondas when I was like a teenager, which I don't recommend, but I already had big snakes. So if you have the experience, sure. Don't just jump in. But I got one just because I wanted it, just because of the stereotype, but then I ended up falling in love with it. And then I'm, I wanted to start breeding, and then I contacted Ben Rennick, who imported the original albino, and got a bunch of tips from him. He helped me out with any questions I ever wanted, and I ended up breeding. And then eventually, after his passing, I ended up getting the project that you know I love so much and just always looked up to him before, and ended up producing visuals myself from it, from what he started. So that's kind of a lot of it. Have you faced any like? Are there any obstacles that you face like to get to where you're at right now in the hobby? Like having to booth at Tinley Park and just having a very strong brand and like. I mean, yeah, you obviously, because I'm a woman with large snakes, you get a lot of online hate from, especially a lot of men. So it's kind of like that thing. Other than that, you just ignore it. And I haven't really like faced a lot of stuff. So it just kind of is what it is at this point. You just gotta take it as it goes and build your own brand and ignore the haters, so. We're here with Vanessa. Please stop. Um, that was really interesting that I was just trying to start this filming interview with you and then Phil goes, please stop, <laughs> over the microphone. <laughs> yeah, but he knows that you're taking a video with me and not him. And it makes him sad. He's like, please stop. So, Vanessa, yes, you are awesome. And I think that pretty much anybody who's come across and hung out with you in person will attest to that fact. And you're also, you're also a girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? what? Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to assume things, yes. but... <laughs> yes. But, like, where does your awesomeness come through? Like, what, what, 
why do you think that people see you as so awesome? How, where do you get all your energy that you pour into this <laughs> hobby and industry? Because like, you do a lot. I do. It's because I love what I do. When you love what you do, it's not a job. Yeah. It's fun. And I get to meet amazing people. Like if I was not doing what I do in all the different hobbies I'm at, I would not get to meet amazing people. It's the amazing people that make what I do so much more fun, exciting. Fair. But where's my energy come from? I don't know. I just, I know where it comes from. And one day I will share that story with everybody, but now's not the time. Okay, fair enough. I, we're not talking about like a certain amount of dose of something in the morning. Or, no, no, no. Because no, if you give me caffeine, which I do not recommend, if you give me a little bit of caffeine, this energy goes way up to the point where um, Rami from Super Show told me if I had Dr. Pepper, like, just don't come to the show. Because I was skipping, <laughs> I was skipping up the hallways. He's like, no, he didn't say don't come. But he was like, oh my God, what did you have? I'm like, a little bit of Dr. Pepper. And he's like, oh my God, something is wrong with you. I was like, no, Dr. Pepper and I get along really, really well. Um, no, I just, I just love what I do. And it's, it's the people, it's the pets, it's the reptiles, it's, it's just everything. Nice. Everything. Well, I, for one, really appreciate it. And when I think about coming to shows, and I know you're going to be at them, it makes the show that much better for me. So, oh, thank you. I, I wanted to say something. I don't know. That's just what came out. And that's, so it must be actually what I think. <laughs> <laughs> is it? Is it? I think it is. No, the fact that you finally actually got me on camera is what it is. Yeah, it was a struggle. It is, because every video you get me and I'm usually like circling around and running. Yeah. Which and he told me I was not allowed to do that. He put the microphone, I have a microphone on. I am sitting here doing an interview with you, which I am not good at, but we're going to get better with it. I'm working on You're it. You're doing great. You did, you did fantastic. In fact, this doing was much better. It was just a short one. Like, is, is there anything? Say, say there's um, a girl watching this that like has aspirations to be, because you're in a pretty prominent spot in the hobby, and you're a representative of US Arc, and yep. like, people know you, and like you, you have some authority there, and that you have a, a real strong presence. Like, uh, say a girl watching this that wants to get to that spot in the hobby or industry is watching, like, yeah. what, what advice would you give to a girl like that? I would say do what you love, enjoy what you love, and find mentors. If you can find a mentor, that's the best thing about it. Learn from those people, grow from those people, and stick to those people. Mentors are phenomenal, and I am happy to be anybody's mentor. Come see me. The kids are what makes it, like, you know me and the kids. Like, I love kids. Like, that's what makes me smile is because, I mean, I love the adults too, but the kids is where my heart is at. Like, without the kids in our hobby, we have nothing. Nothing to look forward to. So find your mentors and enjoy, enjoy it. I mean, when do you get to play with an albino anaconda produced by Megaconda, Megan? Like, you can't. Like, this is just, it's one of a kind. Like, I will remember this forever. Nailed it. Woo, killed it. Almost, almost dropped it. Almost dropped it. It's a lot of practice, honestly. Everybody starts somewhere. You know, nobody nobody was born an uh, instant, amazing, well-known artist. You know, it, it takes a lot of work and dedication. And the biggest thing I tell everybody, it's all about your mindset. So many people give up because they get frustrated that they're not where they're at. But the key is to use that as a learning experience to help you get better. So, yeah. Don't want to give up. You want to use it as a, as a learning experience to help motivate you forward. So if every if every artist stopped when they got frustrated and they got upset with themselves, then they would never get anywhere and they wouldn't get any better. Daddy, I, I was I clipped the mic on you there because I was doing a little video today that's like focusing on really strong and and prominent <laughs> women who are industry leaders. Yeah. And and prominent in the hobby oh. and and Thanks. <laughs> and uh, honestly, like what you were just telling that girl right there. Huh. is the best thing that I could have captured. It was just in the moment. It wasn't a question asked by me. It was just it's beautiful. Well, I, I'm glad. And <laughs> it's just, true. It is true. It's super true. And yes, so thank you. So many people stop. Their, their passions in general, because they get, they get frustrated, or they, you know, they, they get second guess themselves. And I, I just, it stifles creativity. It stifles amazing things, you know. That's just, that's how I try to look at it. But I'm glad, I'm glad. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was fantastic. I don't even need to ask you a question now because that was 
just pure, real, awesome gold. Right. Thank you. Look who's talking back at you, dude. I appreciate you. I'm going to grab that thing back off of you. Sounds good. That was so beautiful. Thank you. Uh, thank you, dude. Uh, future Brian here wearing the same clothes. Adeline's uh, shoes there. Actually, here's a picture of what the finished product looked like. And they actually went for over 5K at the US Arc auction last night. So, yeah, pretty incredible. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video today. I want to thank you for watching and thank you to all the lovely ladies who were willing to come and talk and that I was able to, they were able to give me a little bit of time at this very busy show. I also have been interviewing um, lots of other people here on our rebranded channel, Reptile Report. So if you want to go check that out, link in the description. We're going to be interviewing at least have already interviewed at least 12 people here at the show and there'll be more before the day is over. Also, thank you to the lovely Hillary who makes stuffed animals here at the show uh, for bringing me that lovely donut. And um, yeah, just really hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, you know, if you know of somebody who wasn't in this video, who is an awesome lady in the reptile world, then um, I'd love for you to leave their social media stuff below or their name and just, just anything. Just shout out somebody you know who is a female in this hobby industry, who is awesome, that I missed in today's video. And let's, uh, let's all read about them in the comments down below. I would love that. Y'all take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we'll see you on the next video. Aloha. Cobra Cafe Store Doors Flowers have been in anywhere in the USA. What are you selling? Rats. Can I see, the, <laughs> can I see it? Oh my gosh, this thing is ridiculous. This, that is a setup. That's right it is too much. It's just too much. But it's just enough. There we go. Let's get our one for mine first. There we go. Right into the water. There we go. Wow.